Now try ionic bonding of determining the chemical formulas for zinc oxide and tin to fluoride. All right, so zinc oxide, you again have your zinc and your oxygen. Zinc first as a metal, oxygen second. You know that oxygen has a charge of minus two, and we know zinc, although a transition metal, is one of the exceptions and has a fixed charge of plus two. We then do our crisscrossing and we get Zn2O2. We can simplify the twos by dividing them both by two, and then we end up with zinc one and oxygen one. Zinc one and oxygen one means that you have one zinc bonded to one oxygen. Tin two fluoride. Now this is an interesting way of naming ionic bonds. Um, whenever you see there's a parenthesis, whenever you see parentheses with a Roman numeral inside it, you know that whatever is in front of this one, which in this case is tin, this metal is a transition metal and it's a variable transition metal. Only variable transition metals have a numerical Roman numeral uh, symbol in its name. So here we have tin 2 fluoride. This tells us that tin is a variable metal and usually holds a charge of plus 2 and plus 4, like we talked about in the last video. Um, fluorine is a fixed charge. So we know fluorine is always going to be minus 1 because it's in group seven of the periodic table. Tin two means tin is plus two. Fluoride, fluorine is minus one. Crisscross, down. See if we need any simplifying. One and two, you can't really simplify. So you end up with SNF subscript two. And that is your chemical formula for tin two fluoride.